also those guys pick sixes either because your time's coming too. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for <laughs> sure. I'm always happy. I told y'all last time. Yeah. I'll be cheering. I'll be cheering. If you see me on that play, I was I was trying to beat E man to the end zone. I was happy for him. <laughs> no, I'm, I was happy he caught it. How much has Trevor has been as a resource for you? You said how much is? How much of a resource has Trevor has been for Moody? Ben oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like a big brother. You know, uh, learned a lot from him. You know, with just his little time being here. Uh, just kind of like uh, JV, you know, I always try to pick some, pick some knowledge, and then try to implement it in my game. You know, one, so. of, one of the things he always talks about is, is his ability to press. That's one of the things. Do you pick his brain on that specifically? And then what are some of the keys that he's kind of passing along to doing that well? Oh well, kind of um, going into this week, you know, I, I kind of picked his brain about that. You know, uh, I always, I always seen that uh, he was, he was good at press. You know, his press ability. You know, and that's kind of what I like to do. So, um, so I was just talking to him a little bit about that, you know, and then we've been working on it after practice and during practice. So, yeah, I really appreciate him for that. I'd say probably the best way to learn is when you're out in a game under fire like that. When when you're getting targeted repeatedly, um, is it something where you're expecting the ball and replay coming your way at that point? I mean, uh, just getting targeted a lot, you know, I, I kind of like that, you know, because it kind of gets to show that I, you know, I got ball skills, instincts, and, and I get to make make plays, you know. So hopefully, I get a lot of targets. He's a guy who likes to be, get. Moody's a guy who likes to get involved in the run game. How important is it for you to get involved as well? Oh yeah, I'm a physical player, so aggression, you know, in the run game, that's I feel like that's me. You know, I, I fit I fit well, you know. Um, and back in college, uh, I was always in the run game. What's, what's the mood been like in the cornerback room? You lose, obviously, a key player this week, but also have to now step up and, and replace him. What's, what's it been like in there? Uh, I mean, uh, first, you know, it's sad that it happened to him. Um, we was all we was all kind of feeling for him, you know, because it's always it always hurts to see a brother go down. Um, but after that, you know, it's kind of like the next man up. You know, we got to be prepared. Uh, we ha he gave us some knowledge, and we got to take it and run with it. How much more confident are you this year at this point than you were last year when you came here? Oh, I'm super confident. Um, I feel like the game slowed down a lot for me. Is there any point in particular where it did really start to click and start to slow down? Uh, I would say um, Denver, uh, starting around Denver. Uh, that confidence, I mean, well, I was playing a new position back in Denver. Uh, so it, it just, uh, you know, kind of just build confidence on the way up like just keep working at it and just being able to come and practice and, and compete against some of the best receivers you said, you know, in the NFL. You said when you, sorry, when you got drafted that you'd cross paths with Richard Sherman so I'm wondering if he's reached out at all to you lately or oh yeah um, yeah um, Richard Sherman that's like a big brother uh -huh. uh, him and my high school coach they're like best friends yeah. so I'll talk to Sherman pretty often. Uh -huh. Any tips for this week or any? Um, you just supreme confidence. That's that's his biggest tip. You know, you got to go out there with a chip on your shoulder, and you got to go out there confident. When you say Eman gave you some knowledge, now you have to run with it. What what is that knowledge? Uh, just being well. He always tells me that I got good press ability and just being able to be physical and my aggression. And he just say just use use your tools. A couple more. Is that something you did in Oregon? A lot of press stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, we was all we was press corners at uh, Oregon. Um, how difficult is it to kind of go back and forth between nickel and playing the outside, uh, you know, week to week, practice to practice? Uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of the same, but just nickel, you're just more involved in the run game. So, like, you're just worrying about fits, guards, you know, you got to uh, be more quick, more quicker and more instinctual. Did you play against Drake London? Drake London, yeah, yeah. Oh, I played against Drake London when, when he was at SC. Have you watched the film on him? Was he doing anything different? Has he progressed? Uh, he got. He's definitely got better. You know, uh, big receiver, catch radius, crazy. Uh, he, he can jump. Uh, you know, very aggressive. Uh, just kind of how he was at SE. But you can definitely see he got better. You know, more mature. The, the, the nickel cornerback have Kyle Pitts responsibilities uh, in, in this game. Would it fall on the nickel guy to keep pace with him? I mean, uh, it's just about where where he lines up at. That's kind of where we have it. All right, guys. Thank, All right, you. thank you. Thank Thanks. you.